Welcome to the migration. Let's start your transition. Modernizing legacy code through Gen AI. Why converting legacy code using Gen AI is necessary. Technological advancement. Old technology can slow us down. But with Gen AI, we can update legacy code to stay current, keeping our software competitive in the market. Security vulnerabilities. Legacy systems are vulnerable to security breaches due to outdated protocols. With Gen AI, updating code enhances security protecting against new threats and ensuring compliance with modern standards. Maintainability and agility. Converting legacy code with Gen AI simplifies development, reducing complexity, and enabling agile responses to market needs. Cost efficiency. Updating legacy systems with Gen AI cuts maintenance costs, boosts efficiency, and maximizes ROAR, offering a cost-effective solution for businesses. Reducing workload with Gen AI. Automated code analysis. Gen AI model identifies outdated, slow, or unsafe aspects in old code, saving time by eliminating manual inspection. Code refactoring. Gen AI model automatically improves code quality by optimizing speed, readability, and adherence to coding standards. Code generation. Gen AI model generates new code segments, reducing manual coding time and enhancing overall efficiency. Next one is prompt engineering, also known as AI prompt writing is the process of guiding generative AI models to produce desired results by giving them specific instructions. Here are the prompts to help convert old Java legacy API controllers to new Spring Boot REST controllers. These prompts guide developers through the conversion process, ensuring it follows Spring Boot's best practices. Here is the streamlined code that utilizes the Langchain framework in Python for converting legacy controllers to Spring Boot REST controllers. This process entails a seamless flow from submitting the legacy code and prompts to receiving the response, encompassing several key steps. Firstly, the process begins with the reading of files, located within a designated folder. These files contain the legacy controllers that require conversion. Next, utilizing the Langchain framework, prompts are generated to guide the conversion process effectively. Once the prompts are formulated, they are then paired with an AI model, which leverages advanced algorithms to generate the newly migrated files. These files, now transformed into Spring Boot REST controllers, are written to a separate folder, completing the conversion process. This streamlined approach not only reduces the manual effort required but also enhances efficiency and accuracy in the conversion of legacy controllers by leveraging the capabilities of Langchain and AI models. Here, you'll see the files displayed side by side. On the left is the legacy controller file, on the right is the converted Spring Boot controller file showcasing the modernized version of the software achieved through the conversion process. Throughout the comparison, we'll highlight various aspects of the files, such as code structure, readability, performance optimization, and adherence to modern coding standards. You'll notice significant improvements in the converted file, including streamlined syntax and utilization of the latest technology stack, such as Spring Boot for REST controllers. Finally, Updating legacy code to the newest version with Gen AI has been really helpful. It's made our software better, easier to work on, and more secure. Now, our software can keep up with what's happening in the tech world, making sure we stay ahead and keep delivering great products.